Hey everyone, it's Base Junkie transmitting from Hamburg, Germany, back with a new video. And well, I decided not to wait too long with my chart haul for December uh, 2K18 because, well, the last video you've seen was my chart haul for November, and I waited or had to wait until the end of the month, which totally sucked for me. So uh, I decided, well, to give it a shot right now, a few days after I posted my charts on my website nightstyles.de, which you will find linked to down in the description box. And uh, now we're gonna go straight into 10 records I liked uh, throughout the past four weeks, throughout the past month. So um, this is the stuff I gotta show you. And the first one you've seen already, so I won't like go deep into it. Here you go, a seven inch, uh, which came in as a promo. Synapse Collapse by a guy called Koazuamo. I always butcher the name because I know him as Kid Cosmo on the Punkt, Punkt, Punkt label. First release, um, very underground stuff, I guess limited to like 200 copies or something like that, came in as a promo. Music-wise, lo-fi, 8-bit, um, electronic dance music, techno, a little bit of electro, a little bit of Detroit, uh, very free-form floating, so uh, some stuff you won't see often around, so check this out. Um, and also like watch the video uh, for the unboxing for this one, which I will link to in the end of this uh, video for sure. Next one you've also seen, um, so I won't go deep into this as well, Likrab and Optimus GFN, uh, their EP, one-sided vinyl, so uh, four tracks on one side, a big label collaboration between Hill Trust Grind Media and a lot of other labels from France and stuff, uh, music-wise, Ilvient, Hip Hop, Mutant Hip Hop, Electronica, dark stuff, so as I presumed in the unboxing video I've done for this one, um, good, recommended and also hard to get, I guess, so um, check this out, Le Grab and Optimus GFN. Um, the next one, uh, this one is only um, like a 12 inch with an inlay, so on the Planet Rhythm label, uh, which is an old techno label. There's a stamp on the uh, on the sleeve. I really like these cardboard-like sleeves, and it's on clear vinyl. It's uh, various artist EP 303 303 EP. So, um, as you might guess from that name, we're talking acid here. And uh, the Planet Rhythm label um, was known for straight toolish techno, and with this like untitled EP or like. Uh, or with this EP series, which uh, has been, I uh, have seen like three releases so far. They are going deep into grinding underground acid territories, uh, very up tempo, very nerve cell wrecking, and therefore exactly my kind of music. Planet Rhythm, definitely good stuff. Uh, fresh release, I guess it's eight, out for eight weeks or something like that. Now we're going into Chicago music. Um, Heavy WFM EP on the Tech Life label, Tech Life 08. Well, you know my my love for like Chicago influenced music. Um, this is Duke footwork, as you might imagine from this being released on Tech Life. Eight tracks on here, totally love the uh, graphics and stuff. And this sees collaborations of Hiwi with a lot of genre grades, also one track, collaborative track with the DJ Rashad who has passed like some years ago. So there's still Rashad music on the uh, on the archive somewhere. Also with DJ PayPal, DJ Phil, Sir Timo, um, Gantman and stuff. So fast, like footwork, Duke music and also on the brink of Chicago Ghetto House. So uh, if you like that old Dance Mania style and if you like the, the footwork, Duke stuff, dry, reduced, sparse, this is definitely one to go for uh, this month. And another LP, which is highly recommended to both of uh, both members of the vinyl community, uh, Tom Hyren District and also Mr. James Buttery, if you see this. Puffer's Joyce Part 2 on Scotch Bonnet Records. Um, this is a label I usually don't follow that much, although um, there are like related like, I don't know, not related, um, operating in the realm somewhere, uh, somewhat between like dubstep and reggae and dub, but hasn't gotten me a lot in the past, but this like 12 track compilation 
is definitely good stuff. A lot of great, great tunes on here um, by various artists. So, uh, Bim Sherman, Wolves featuring Bo Johnson, Sheev Rockhards featuring Supercat, Nem Aquarius, Danny T and Tradesman featuring Mark Iration, Dread Squad, and one definitely highly recommended tune also for those guys also loving your, your goth and new wave and like post-punk stuff, right? A Love Will Tear Us Apart cover on reggae and dubbed by Capital 1212 featuring Earl 16, which is amazing. So um, I don't know if you can see this right. It's on the B side, the fourth or fifth track. This is one of the best Love Will Tear Us Apart versions I've heard in a while. And uh, also some influences of like dubstep in there, not in this version, but in like um, other tunes and also a little bit of dance hall towards the end. But uh, very uh, varied and stuff, like summer uh, summer flavored, good vibes. Uh, if you like your reggae and get your occasional reggae compilation or whatever or album, uh, this is definitely great stuff. So highly recommended Puffer's Choice Volume 2 on Scotch Bonnet Records. And now we're going in for a surprise. Horsepower Productions are back on the Effective 96 label. Here's the cover, we'll get this out. Um, of course, uh, the handwriting is mine. And uh, Horsepower Productions have been around for, I don't know, 20 years, 18 years, have been starting to make waves in the uh, in the two-step UK garage scene when they were like the, one of the pioneering acts in terms of dark garage and uh, what uh, later became like uh, sub-low and stuff. Um, but I never clicked uh, with their sound fully, although I always liked this, but uh, this one sees them like going back to a more dubstep, uh, jungly uh, flavor. Reefer Max is like a great spiritual dubstep, reggae tune, kind of dub tune with like dubstep elements and Fantasy Rush on the flip gets us back to the early 90s, to the early 90s breakbeat scene, which I totally love. So, uh, on Effective 96, Horsepower Productions, Reefer Max and Fantasy Rush. Another great one, uh, which I've played at the Tuntenball, uh, the gay event I played at, is uh, this one on the Delft label, a split between L4A4? No, what's, what's the guy called? I always butcher this. Uh, LA4A. The two tracks on this side and uh, the flip has a track in two versions by Mr. Alden Tyrrell, which is like associated to the Vulex clone label. Um, great acid stuff, Electroid acid, Broken acid, uh, Chicago acid, whatever kind of acid you want is in here in these four tracks, very fast paced and uh, great stuff, uh, great tools. I gotta say, so if you like your, your asset proper, this might be one for you as well. And now with the comeback, my friends of Ali Quid, Dr. Walker and Cem Oral uh, are back. Finally, after 14, 14 years, uh, they have like had a break and uh, this is a new like 12 inch on a Berlin based label. This is a mind trip, it's called. There's a flip and the label is called Intergalactic Research Institute for Sound. Totally love the red inner sleeve that are like in fashion right now. And uh, there is one side, the flip side looks the same exactly. And uh, yeah, music wise, uh, it's what you'd expect from Ali Quid in 2018. So the main track, this is a mind trip, which features also vocals from Mary S. Applegate who has been responsible for the uh, original vocals of the old Love Parade hit, This Is Not A Mind Trip, which was also by Ali Quid, is like more like crowd rocky, ill -end, noise, ambient, experimental, chill stuff. Um, die Singende Säge is more like subaquatic IDM and then Zeitgeber 3 on the flip side, the last track on the flip side is like grinding, dark, reverberating acid stuff. So um, this is a mind trip by Ali Quid. Limited to 300 copies, I think, so uh, get this quick if you are like a fan. And straight to the dance floor, we're gonna go with this one. Christian Smith and John Selway, Count Zero Part 2 on the Tronic label. 
the artwork, the label artwork is not that spectacular. So uh, just have a quick glimpse. Three tracks on here. Techno, toolish techno, a little bit of acid in there. And especially the B2 track is the one for me, Virtual Light, which is like a proper club techno cut. So um, this is more and more of a DJ tool, I guess, but definitely a great, great addition to the collection. And um, usually I'm not all that for, for DJ tools, uh, but sometimes they get me. And uh, I usually like more when a track is, or when tracks are like very unique and they have like a, like an you know, own signature sound, but sometimes you have to have stuff that uh, you can just fit in here and there and in your DJ sets at several points and in, in the evening or throughout a set, so without standing out too much and being too unique. So uh, this is great. And uh, finally, we're going back to the year 1993, High Rise 4-Track Progress EP on Yosmas, which is a UK techno, um, as I said, from 1993, here's the label artwork. And as you might expect, um, UK Techno is all the rage right now, kind of. And um, also with B12 and all the guys like re-releasing stuff and then putting new stuff out. And as you expect from music from the 90s, this is like very fast paced, kind of abstract sci-fi uh, with influences from Detroit. Um, all tracks are very unique with like a thrilling atmosphere and uh, definitely kind of tracks that will stand out on the dance floor whenever you use, uh, like play them out no matter in what kind of context if in like modern techno if in an old school set these are very very interesting tracks too fast for it to be intelligent techno but in the intelligent techno realm kind of and if you like the the 90s early 90s to mid 90s electronic music techno especially this one is is definitely one you should check out and yeah other news have it that um well i'm out of my like instagram jail so my instagram thing does function properly again i get like likes and interactions again so i just set it out and like waited for like 14 days until the the so-called shadow ban i experienced was like vanishing and interestingly i still uh, I get likes on those like photos and pictures I posted within uh, within the like shadow ban time span so those are like recognized by people too as well and um, so I'm fully back on Instagram but now Tumblr sucks I don't know if you've seen this last night uh, Tumblr is a platform I use as well so uh, if you want to find the link down in the description box and I use it for like rich art and graphic design experiments and stuff so I'm not a graphic designer but I like to play around with stuff so this is what my tumblr is for and now they've decided um, to ban like every not uh, NSFW content, uh, content not safe for work stuff which includes nudity and like erotic art and stuff which is like a like kind of content that a lot of people are, are on Tumblr for and like run like LGBTQ plus whatever vlogs and like body positivity things and like girls getting naked and stuff and like fandom shipping, gay shipping things are going on there and now they have like decided to shut down this kind of contact effective uh, from like December 17th onwards but uh, Actually, it seems like all the hashtags, if you like, for example, search for pussy, just I, I did this yesterday just for fun and like no content comes comes up and uh, like a lot of things get flagged and even the Tumblr announcement post announcing that they're going to have this uh, new terms of service um, effective from like December 17th onwards, even their own post got flagged by their own algorithm and everyone is abandoning tumblr right now and they're going on to twitter and uh, the hashtag tumblr uh, on twitter and rip tumblr and stuff exceeded the like one million um one million hashtag mark uh on twitter within like i don't know 24 hours uh, yesterday night so everything is like exploding and imploding and stuff so if you are on Tumblr and if you're affected, just let me know. If you want to be on Tumblr and check out my stuff, look down in the description box. 
If you want to see more, uh, there will be videos linked to in the end of this one, like in a few seconds. And if you want to leave me a like, a comment, if you want to subscribe, it's highly appreciated. So support me and this channel and like make things possible in the future here. And now I'm going to go into editing and you're going to see this one in a minute. So see you later.